What's going on, everybody? Um, um, <laughs> Y'all share this. Please share this. This is going to be really good today. Please share this. I want everyone to share this. This is going to be really good. Um, I want people to listen. I want you to hear with your ears and just really listen to this. Um, so I just got off the phone. My grandmother, she is... She's in ICU. She's she's doing good. My grandmother, she just likes to stress about things, and it just it it it, it overtakes her. And it just does the most. Um, she has a pacemaker, and y'all just keep her in your prayers, real seriously. Um, I'm not about to be toe up. None of that. I can't afford it right now. And y'all, I'm really praying to God. Just don't take my grandmother. I just emotionally, I just y'all know. I just, I can't take it. Um, keep her lifted up in prayer. And I really do mean that. And I thank you all for um, saying, a for those of you who do know how to pray and who really do know how to touch heaven, thank you all for, um, for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me make this kind of quick if I can. Um, thank you all so much. Thank you, my Derek. Uh, and that's this. Just like I'm praying for my grandmother, I'm also praying for Dr. Bynum's mother. Yes, uh, Mother Bynum. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I know y'all want me to be real petty with Dr. Bynum or Juanita, whatever. I'm not. And I'm going to tell you why. I've come to the realization that even though this is her second, her second... Uh, meal degree or whatever the case may be um, her, her second uh, the doctorate degree, degree thing you know y'all know what I'm talking about listen if this is what's going to make her happy and, and fulfill her dreams and desires God bless you do, do that if that's what makes you happy do that a lot of times and I know I, I'm guilty of it y'all listen Y'all better thank God. Y'all better thank you. Listen, the universe, the lucky stars, him. Y'all better thank him that I'm just, I'm in that place. Although I think it's crazy that she's celebrating getting these um, diploma meal degrees and, these, and, and a lot of us have went to college and everything. But baby, if this, if going to get these degrees and she's actually creating thesis, Thesis is to get these degrees and stuff like that. If this is what's going to make her happy, applaud her. Celebrate her. Do you hear me? Okay. You said, what happened to my grandmother? So, um, she went into cardiac arrest. Okay. She went into cardiac arrest this morning. And um, for those of you who were on my live this morning, y'all heard me about lose it. And I was trying to figure out what I was going to say next. And Baby, that was about the quick, quickest prayer. <laughs> the quickest prayer. And I was contemplating if I was going to come back on and something happened that just made me just say, let me just address this. So, um, I wanted to just say that. Hey, Lamar. I want to just say that and just address the fact of the situation with wanting to buy them. Um, her mother is dealing with dementia and when you're losing your parent, it's a lot. Now, I'm gonna say this, and this is no excuse for anybody's uh, frivolity or anything like that, but for the women that choose to follow her, if you're being encouraged by what she's doing and what she's saying, who am I to judge and to tell you that it's wrong? You get what I'm saying? Who am I to sit up here and judge and to sit up here and say, Y'all, listen here, just like I don't I don't like when y'all want to try to tell me that I'm going to hell and I'm trying to give y'all good word and everything. I'm not going to do the same for her. I, I'm really not. I'm really not. I just, I want her to be encouraged and keep empowering the women that you're reaching. I hate that you are not where you used to be. But at the same time, it's my job as a man to encourage my fellow sister, my fellow auntie, auntie, mama, whoever, to encourage you to be the best that you could possibly be. And when you fall, 
it's wrong of me to sit up here and step on your neck. But the Bible says when my brother or my sister is overtaken in a fall, it's for me to encourage you and to lift you up and to say, you got this. Remember where you once was. Fail not. This, I don't care if Juanita is a, listen, all jokes aside, I don't care if she's a lesbian, I don't care what she do, it's my job to encourage her. Do you hear what I'm trying to tell you? All right. Now, let's let's get past this and let me say this. My niece, I was, y'all, I was really going through this morning with my grandma's situation. And my niece was in the room, both my nieces was in the room, and one of them was watching cartoons on YouTube. And I don't know how YouTube got this porn stuff on there, but my other niece was strolling on there and looking at stuff, and then it happened to pop up on my TV right here. And I was getting ready to beat the living dog stuff. I was I was getting ready to tag him, and the Holy Ghost convicted me. I kid you not. The Holy Ghost said, now, hold on. Before you go to going in, there's a better way to correct this action. You need to have a conversation with her. Y'all share this video, share it with all the homos, the gays, the straights, the church people, share this video. The Holy Ghost convicted me and said, you need to have a conversation with her. Because if you spank her butt right now, she still does not understand what's right and what's wrong. Because my brother was on his phone looking at something I ain't going to say he ain't had no bit because he a grown man. He do what he want to do. But my niece was looking at it because I guess apparently that's what he was looking at. I don't know how he found it on YouTube, but it was on YouTube. And so as her uncle, as her uncle, I said, let me correct this, baby. She was just sitting there crying because she knew I was about to tear her butt up. Okay, about to tear up. But Stop you. I said, I said, I need you to stop crying. I said, let Uncle talk to you for a second. Now, if you don't stop crying, I'm going to give you something to cry for. <laughs> Y'all know how we do. And I began to talk to her and I said, you're too young to be watching this. Now, I could spank your butt and you still don't understand why I'm whooping you. But listen to Uncle. You're too young to be watching this. When you see this come up on your, on your phone, you don't watch this. This is a no-no. Okay? As a parent... That's the way you're supposed to help your children. As a parent, that's the way you're supposed to help your kids. Because if we just tan off in our kids, whoop, whoop. See, this, this is the reason why the generations are the way that they are right now. Is because we want to beat, but we don't want to talk to them. We want to beat, but we don't want to give sound instruction. Right? All y'all grown folks, all we know is beat them, beat it out of them. No. Before you whoop your children, before you spank your kids... They need to know why. And they need you to come to them in love. I'm the mama. See, that's the problem. It's your ego. It's too big. You need to sit down and talk to your kids and explain, hey, you're too young to be watching this. There's nothing wrong with this video. There's nothing wrong with this video. But you can't watch this right now. It's too grown for you. You, first of all, the reason why it's too grown for you is because you too young. You ain't finna be having sex at no two, three years old. That's a no-no. Period. Point blank. See how simple that was? And if you catch them watching it again, then you spank their butt because you didn't already gave them instructions not to do this. Period. Uh, what was the next thing? Um, yeah. I apologize. Thou carest not, baby girl. I, let's let's do this conference. I wrap it up, cause I I don't. My thing is I don't want to be offensive nor offend anybody. But I'm telling the real truth. We having too many revivals. Too many revivals. Is anybody being revived? Every time I turn around as a fly, somebody having a service. No, you know what we need to have? An I apologize conference. Boom! I'll be the head of it. That's what we need to have at our apologize conference. Everybody wants to preach. Everybody wants to have the mic. Everybody wants to be on the fly that's looking. And then when you come to hear them preach, it's like, what are you talking about? You're not even in the word. Get my purse up. I'm out. Every time. Let's have an I apologize.
guys conference. Because that's what needs to go on. Right, Y'all write that. We need to have an I apologize conference. No more revivals. No more church services. I have. That's what we need to do. Apologize conference. And I'm looking at all these people that want to be preachers. I'm like, you're not ready yet. That's what we need to have. Stop all these conferences. Everybody to come together just to shout. I tell people all the time, I do a great job dancing at 9310 boop, West Rogers Avenue. So I don't come to shout at other people's services. That's not what I come for. If I want to come, I want to hear impartation. Let's learn how to get on these street corners. Let's do that. Get on these street corners. Let's stop being so affected by the mic. And let's work out in the street. Everybody, it's like everybody, like bruh, sus. What is it for? Like, what is the what is the meaning of this? Tell me, what is the meaning? What is the meaning of it? And then I'll come. So we just having something just to have it. I'm good. My bed calls me. My books call me. I'm good. No. Because my thing is, a lot of people that are in place mentally, they're not right. They're not right. So you really can't say much to me. You can't. What you, what you want to preach? I told somebody that recently. What you want to preach for? Nothing about you screams international. What you want to and the thing about it is, y'all think somebody hating because some people is being honest. We're asking honest questions. Rashida, why do you want to be an attorney? Well, X, Y, and Z. This is why I want to be an attorney. Number one, there was always my dream to be an attorney. Number two, I enjoy helping people. Number three, I'm an advocate of people's rights. And the list go on and on and on of why I want to be an attorney. And it ain't because of the money. Because truth be told, I make what a lot of attorneys make anyway, especially with your first year in law school. So that's not even, it's not even about the money thing. This is why I enjoy, I enjoy fighting for people's rights. I'm an advocate. I enjoy the law. I enjoy the rush of things in the courtroom. So we need to start asking ourselves, what is the purpose we're just so quick to get the mic. But we have not learned how to deal with things that we need to deal with in the dark. A lot of people trying to preach, you owe people an apology. You owe people an apology. You can't get yourself together. And I am big on this. You can't conduct the house of God and can't conduct home. You just can't do it. Is closed. Bloop, bloop. Don't hear that one thing. Bloop, bloop. Uh-uh. No. Uh -uh. Can't hear you. La, 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 la. So that's what we need to start having. A I apologize conference. Because a lot of people owe people an apologies. And then we can respect you and stuff like that. We can flow a, probably a little better. But a lot of folks think they can't be touched. That's a problem. I don't stroke egos. I don't. And if I stroke, it's going to be my husband. I'm going to stroke it real good. I mean, so good, honey. And that's, that's a lot of things that's happening. People getting the mics. And it's like, no, babe. Like, not yet. We're not saying not now. We're just saying not yet. Study your gift. Study that. Perfect your gift. Perfect your craft, whatever. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't stroke egos. I just stroke my husband's ego. That's about it. Let's do this conference. I apologize conference. Because I think at this point in time, 
with everything that we've dealt with, experienced, and y'all drug me and everything because of the things that I said? No, I think at this particular time, all the stuff that we've seen in social media with all these pastors and stuff, and a lot of us have been hurt, broken, wounded and stuff by pastors. It's time for, for the pastors and the preachers to have all of us. Excuse me. Let me just say this. We need to have an I apologize. I'm done with church conference. We need to have that type of conference because we all need to apologize. We all need to make this thing right. Well, you don't understand. I don't care to understand either. Because we are all, the past is bleeding. We bleeding. We hurt. The past is hurting. Because, you know, let's, let's, let's go to the rudity of the matter. Right. Let's go to the root of the matter. Your pastor hurt because something was done to him. That's mainly the reason why he pastored. Mm -hmm. That's mainly the reason why he pastored. He passed because he was hurt and he didn't want to sit upon his pastor. So he just said, the Lord told me. No, sir, stop lying. The Lord didn't tell you nothing. So we all need to come together and we need to make this thing right. Some of y'all pastors didn't cover you correctly. Some of you pastors didn't step up for your members. Some of you pastors didn't step in and advocate for y'all members and everything like that. Some of y'all pastors are here downing the gays and you was messing with the gays, you need to apologize. You need to apologize. This is why your butt keep getting put out. This is why your butt keep getting put on blast. Because folks know your business and know your team. So, and then I'm done. I'm done conference. We need to add it because I'm done. But we run to all this stuff and going to all these places and want to shout about a hingo. Listen, I, I know like you, I know like me, I want to really have an encounter with the spirit. And I've had that before. And honey, I have it all the time in my house. Honey, I just wake up and, and I feel one. Hey, glory. I feel it. You know, I just get the quickening and the carrying on. Woo! Gotta shake that because I almost felt that thing. Woo! All right. But we need to have that. We, we, I, I, I would be willing to head spirit that thing with you, sis. Let's make this thing happen. I apologize because. A lot of these leaders need to apologize for the lack of leadership that they have involved themselves in. You need to apologize for allowing the, 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 to be influenced by all of this dumb stuff and yet and still you leave your, your, your sheep bleeding. This is not how you lead the sheep. Now, and on the other hand, you all need to go to the I Apologize conference too because y'all done done some dumb stuff to y'all pastors them just because you couldn't have your way. Hello. Hello. Heck, I would be the main one in front in the Apologize conference because there's some things that I've done. Yeah. There's some things that I've done to leadership that was not right. Hey, Judah. Hey, love. There are some things that I've done that's not right. And you're speaking of that. I'm glad you on, Judah. There's some things we all need to be apologizing for some stuff. And we need to be able to come each other in love. Okay? You need to apologize for relationship issues, for uh, family issues. We all, if we can apologize and show love to one another, we can heal. There were some things in relationships that we've done. Honey, I'm telling once we get a good kumbaya here, then we'll be going on. Don't get to bad in the minds. Thank y'all for the get song. No, this is, we just need to get together and heal. We don't need to get together and screw and heal. We need to get together. <laughs> we need to heal. We need to heal. Because at the end of the day, a lot of us were in relationships and we didn't treat the other one right. Because I know I was. There were some things that were done to me and I retaliated in a certain way. I have to, I well, I've already done my apology, but you have to apologize. In order for you to heal and not carry the same, y'all, that's a spirit. No, that's, that's a learned trait and learned behavior. That's a learned trait and learned behavior. What we need to do is we need to apologize. And y'all say, well, not, it ain't all time for you. It ain't for them, it's for you. Well, we, you need to heal you. Heal you. Because you're taking that same thing over and over again. The reason why you church hop is because you hurt. Somebody affected you and you taking the same thing to somebody else. 
That last pastor did something you. Now you're taking it somewhere else. Okay? You, you need to get healed. You need to heal. Y'all pastors that have done things, and especially y'all that's been out here and molested and raped and done all kind of stuff to some of y'all lady members in Kano, you need to apologize. You need to apologize. There's no, listen, you don't, maybe you don't need to say nothing. Just say, listen, I was wrong in my actions. God knows I'm wrong and I'm paying a price for it. And I just want to say, I'm sorry and I apologize. Well, past, no, 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 no. Ain't no time for y'all trying to beat me up. I apologize. I took advantage of you and I knew you were at your weakest state. I apologize. I make this thing right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Fred. Hey, my love. Hey, Fred. I apologize. You get what I'm saying? I apologize. There were some things some of these church mothers and did to y'all. Put y'all on blast and said certain things behind y'all back and carrying on. Baby, supervisor, church mother, I apologize. That's what you need to say. Don't give me no cockamamie excuse. Just apologize. Period. There you go. Thank you, Miss Pat. Apology without change is manipulation. We don't need none of these Travis Jennings apologies reading off the paper. We need you to apologize and we need your actions to change. We know everybody ain't going to be perfect, period. But that's why we have that check and balance system. All right, Pastor, get that together right there. We're going to live in life and we're going to make mistakes and we're going to be we're going to be fallible. Excuse me. We are fallible beings. But in order for us to be successful in life, we got to learn how to move forward. In order for us to move forward, we got to be able to successfully move forward. Yes, change your ways is the best apology. It's the best apology. So again, to even people like Dr. Bynum, you know, people want me to really, I mean, really, I'm not in that place no more, y'all. I'm really not in that place. I don't hate Dr. Bynum. I don't hate Juanita. I don't hate sister evangelist, pastor, ex-wife. I don't hate her, period. I don't hate her. My heart goes to her because she is, she's is. she been a woman that's been affected and had to battle through a lot. And she's had to use whatever she had to get to where she's getting to. So that's why she's out here cheap teaching on chicken is doo-doo and all kind of baby she's trying to stay relevant you go from being the top evangelist and everybody calling your name now you just barely making it you know what I'm saying barely being called upon you know this one was at the top of her game y'all seriously so you need to come on to the I apologize cause you she's done some things too but Whatever degree she's going to get, if that's what makes her happy, that's what makes her happy. Seriously, y'all. It. I'm going to tell you something. It sounds real stupid. It sounds real stupid. And it is what it is. But if, if eating carrot cake is what makes you happy, as long as you ain't hurt nobody else, that's all that matters. Dr. Bo Dr. Warney to Biden. If getting this doctor degree from this diploma mill is gonna make you happy, baby, I congratulate you. Just like I congratulated you going up there with TD Jakes, I congratulate you. And I show love to you and I appreciate you. Because instead of dragging you and everybody to my she a part of this, she's a charlatan and everything. Baby, it's so it's so much stuff out here, charlatans, and this ain't right and Thank you for this and, and you doing this and, and this. Huh? Whatever. 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 I'm not even sure what type of agenda is going on because if, if the gays got an agenda, which they don't, then the church people got an agenda, which they don't. Everybody trying to, everybody's trying to move forward, if that makes sense. Everybody's trying to move forward in life. But we can't move forward when we're trying to blame this, we're trying to blame that one. And the gays got an agenda. 
Church folks got agenda. The government's got agenda. Oh, this. Well, listen. How about this? How about this? Let's just go and do this. Let's just have a statewide tour. I apologize conference. I, I'm done conference. Just, we're done. I'm tired of coming to these conferences and we ain't been healed. We're not being delivered. We're not being set free. I'm done with trying to, trying to go to somebody's conference to see who can dance the best. I'm done. I'm done with sitting up here, trying to sit up here and we dancing, skipping and hollering and carrying on. And yet it's still nobody's being healed. Somebody pulling out tricks just to pretend somebody's healed. Done. You pastors need to come and you church folks need to come for all y'all crooked ways and lying and backbiting. I, yo, come on. I apologize, conference. Come on. Come on down here. And let's go. Let's be really sincerely be healed, be delivered, and be set free. That's it. I'm not, I'm, 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 this is what y'all finna start getting now. I'm just, I'm being dead serious. While we won't gossip and tea, which y'all still may get that, while you won't gossip and tea, let's look at the full situation. How can we heal from this? How can, how can I, how can I be my brother's keeper and help him be a better person? Okay? For the young man for the young teacher that raped his student. Sir, first of all, you need to apologize. But why did you do that? That's what we need to find out. Why? Now, all of you will probably want to tell off in you, but why? Why? Because you know that wasn't right. You got a whole 66-year-old boyfriend. We need to figure, we, see, we, if, if those that are spiritual, if those that are spiritual can restore, that's that's where we're lost. I ain't talking about covering it up. No, you need to be restored, sir. You need to get that, you need to get all that together. Because if you keep doing this type of stuff, you are going to jail for a long time. And somebody going, you're going to be okay. Period. We need to, we need to preserve our people. Y'all hollering about all the black men in jail. Listen. Black folks, we really need to be at this conference. I apologize, conference. I'm done, conference. I don't know when it's going to be. We need to put this together. I, 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 thou cares not. We need let, let's let's collectively put some things together. Me and you, we can go and put some stuff. I, thou, let's let's do this because this is a world that needs to be healed. This is a country that needs to be healed. Y'all complain about the president, but if we're spiritual and we come together on one accord. We can make some stuff happen. Now, I don't know how many spiritual people I got on here, but I know I'm one of them. If you're spiritual and we, you bring your spirit with my spirit and we all come together as one kumbaya, we all tell the Lord to come on by here and we can begin to call on him and seek him fervently, we may see some things happen. But see, the reason why we're not seeing nothing happen, the reason why we're not seeing anything happen is because we all got an agenda. We all, we all, we don't, we not on one accord. We not on one accord. And, and the reason why we having all these church conferences is not to see nobody healed, delivered and set free. It's a money pit. It's a money pit. What if we, now, I mean, honestly, if you do put a conference on, you got to pay folks. But if we put a conference on and we just came there to serve. And to really see change, I don't want no money. I just want, just, just make sure the hotel and everything paid for and all this other stuff like that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Now, I don't know about that because, you know, if I got to take out my time and schedule, now I need somebody to pay me for that. But, I mean, this thing needs to go around the world. And we need to heal, period. Just like I told y'all about my niece. We need to heal. If we can't heal, we can't touch on nobody. We can't be healed, delivered, and set free. We can't do none of that stuff. Anyway, I just, I just really wanted to say that. Okay, I just, um, y'all keep, 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 keep the the sage saints in your prayers because they're checking out of here. They're getting sick. They got dementia. 
heart problems and all kinds. And although we didn't got smart and we know how to eat right and healthy, our older saints don't. Our older saints don't because that's what they used to. That's what they used to. They used to that. You come tell them about eat right. Well, baby, I've been living all this long time. I'm going to keep eating my chitlins and my hog malls and fat bag and things. They don't know no better, y'all. That's what they grew up on. And you with your dumb self, you just trying to shove it down their throat. Be the example. Y'all, when I, before my grandfather died, God rest his soul, I did all I could. I did all I could for my grandmother. I, I did all I could. Baby, I was fixing good meals and good healthy with fish and, and salmon and all. Baby, that was good food. But my grandfather, my granddad, he was like, he said, Mario, he said, baby, I know you're trying to, you know, help us out. Me and your grandma, I, I know. But can we have some brown, some brown beans and cornbread? <clears throat> can we have some brown beans and cornbread? Can, Mario, can you just give us a little bacon, you know? Give us something, you know what I'm saying? Put a little turkey off in the meat. You know, put a little turkey in there. Put a little flavor and everything. You know, Mario, I know you don't want us to have all that, that, that fat back and soul food and everything. But can you give us something that's close to soul food? And you know what? Honestly... In that, I was just like, I got you, Papa. I got you. I got you. My granny the same way. My grandma's the same way. Maria, I, I know you're trying. I just, I just, I'm not used to that. I'm not used to it. I'm not used to it. When I think about the older generation, the old, my grandparents and everything, I get it. That's why it's for me to let my light shine and to be that example to them that if I'm telling you to eat healthy, I got to be a first partaker. And to be honest with you, I like my sweets too. I like a piece of cornbread too. Because I just, I just made me a good old roast with some cornbread. And I had some uh, broccoli in that roast, potatoes, some... Uh, asparagus, yellow onions, and bell peppers, and had all kind of stuff in there. I had all the good ingredients, but I fixed some cornbread, had some good corn, all this other stuff. I, I get it. So if you're going to tell somebody to do something, you be the first partaker. Like I said about my niece, I can't tell my niece to not do something and don't show her. Don't and not be that example. Anyways, y'all, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Catch it on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, follow me on YouTube. You know, I got four channels. Follow me on Instagram, and um, I love y'all. Keep my family in your prayers. Keep Dr. Bynum and Mother Catherine Bynum in your prayers because they do need y'all. I mean, it, it, I'm going to tell y'all right now. I Listen, my mother's still here. And my father's still here. Dr. Bynum lost her father. And her mother is has a case of dementia. And she needs the prayer. Okay? She needs your prayers. It's hard. It's difficult. And like I said, if this diploma is going to make her feel better for the, the moment, then, then let, her, let her feel better for the moment. But keep our families in, in your prayers. Each of us, let's keep each other's families lifted in prayer. Because Mother, Mother Catherine Bottom, that's a prayer warrior. Mother Joseph Jives, that's anybody who know these people, these two ladies, they some prayer warriors. Baby, they pray you up on a pew. Anybody who's ever experienced that, baby, let me tell you, you won't leave you like you came. In Jesus' name, battered and broken, some even lame. You won't leave you like you came in Jesus' name. You won't leave here like you came in Jesus' name. Listen, keep them in prayer. Seriously, if you don't do anything else, let's keep the families lifted in prayer. It seriously is up under attack. Keep the family. I, there's no agenda. I don't care what you are. I don't care who you are. Whatever the case, there's no agenda. Because of our ignorance, we taught things in ignorance. Hey, Tabitha, 
we taught things in ignorance. And we carried that thing on and on and on and on. But just because you've gotten smarter does not make them dumber. Because they did what they did because that was all they know to do. You got book knowledge. So it's your job to help the old catch up with the young. Now I just preach right here. Let me get my glass of water because y'all ain't going to give me no offering. Anyways, so it's our job to help the old catch up with the young. It's our job as the young generation to help the old stay abreast of what's going on. And you don't force feed them. You feed them gradually because they can't take it. Just like you don't want to take what they talking about. They don't want to take what you talking about. So both of y'all got to do it in love. So that everything is received and it's affected and it's effective. That makes sense to me. Tap your screen right there. It's effective. I got sisters right now. We ain't going to go there. <laughs> Praise God. I love you each and every last one, y'all. And in order for us to be great, in order to, for us to be successful, we got to move forward in love. In order for us to heal our land, we got to move forward in love. Anyways, I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all on Instagram. Talk to you soon. One love. Bye. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope all is well with you. Listen, make sure you hit that notification thing down there. And also, hit that bell, okay? Hit that bell so that you're never left out. You're never confused. You're never wondering as to what I posted. Was I on? Or are you guys lost? Or, hmm. And what is King really doing? Okay? Just make sure I hit that notification. And make sure you subscribe. I love you guys. Talk to you later.